Strategy. Allen Incorporated brings you this preview of North Carolina Central and Morgan State as these two programs meet for the 36th time since 1930. Chris Hooks of the NCCU Sports Network joined alongside now the head coach of North Carolina Central, Henry Fraser III. Coach, looking back at the contest against South Carolina State, I believe a lot of people around the league were quite surprised at, at, at this offense here at North Carolina Central, how easily they were able to put up points against South Carolina State. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't call it easy. Um, you know, we had to work for everything that, that came our way. I thought the uh, offensive coaches did an outstanding job in preparing the game plan, and, and the student athletes executed the game plan. So, you know, South Carolina State was definitely uh, one of the top you know, football programs in the country, in my opinion, and, and I, was, I was proud of their efforts. I'll tell you what. As a voter in the top 25, I certainly uh, didn't change my, my mindset when it came to, to trying to vote for them. Just based on, like you said, they, they look like a top 25 ball club and they played like it. And I think we should be proud of our effort against them when you look back at that performance. Obviously, moral victories don't really go very far with, with a lot of coaches in this business. But again, you're in a process of building here at North Carolina Central. And we are. We are. And we are extremely proud of, of the effort that the young men put out. And but again, you know, last three ball games we 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 we've held leads late in the football games and been and haven't been able to put teams away. So we, we have our work cut out for us. And, but but we're on the right path. We're on the right path as a football program. Uh, the young men are still coming to workouts and working hard. They're coming to practice, giving it all they have, going to study hall, you know, attending classes. They're doing the little things that they need to do off the field. So so on the field will always take care of itself. So you know we just got to continue you know pounding away at, at what's been laid out as as what we think we need to do to to build us a top a top tier football program and if we continue to do that then our fortunes will change eventually I think two players that have really stood out in the last couple of weeks, the Durham combination of Giovanni Irvine and Michael Johnson. I mean, they have absolutely just torched MEAC defenses to this point of the season. What makes them two so special? Uh, yeah, I tell you, they have been playing big time football. And, and again, it all starts with the offensive line. The offensive line play has gotten better. You know, and as the offensive line play gets better, and I've said this before, that if, if you give Michael Johnson an opportunity to sit in the pocket, I think he, he, he he's smart enough where he'll, he'll pick a defense apart. And then, and then Giovanni Irvine is, is a special talent. You know, he's a young man that, that that opposing defenses and opposing special teams coordinators, they have to prepare for. And um, you know, we're going to start pushing him around, putting him in different places, and it just is creating some packages for him because he is an exciting football player. And and as, and as teams decide they want to double him and pay a lot of attention to him, then and the other players on the offense and special teams have to step up and make plays. So, you know, we're happy that those young men are having good seasons right now. But, you know, we still have half the season left to play, and hopefully they, they can continue to, to get better in, in, within the scheme of our, of our offense. Take a look at the opponent in today's ball game, Morgan State. They come into the ball game fresh off a 44-17 win over Savannah State this past weekend. What kind of challenges do they present to this ball club? Well, uh, Morgan State is a, is, a, is a football team that is, is well coached. Uh, Coach Hill, uh, I've known him for quite a few years, and even when he was a student at Virginia Union, I knew him then, and and he, he he's a he's an excellent football coach. I have a tremendous amount of respect for for, for what he does and and what he has, has done. And, and I know they're going to be well prepared. They're going to come in here you know, with a disciplined uh, approach to this game, and, and, and they're not going to hurt themselves. So we just might have to go in here and, and execute our, our game plan, and, and hopefully we can come out on top. Without putting too much pressure on yourself and the team, obviously this, this is a very crucial game in this season. How do you go about getting that into the, into the players' heads, the student-athletes' heads, that this is a very crucial game without putting too much pressure on the situation? Well, they're all crucial. You know, they're all crucial. So our approach won't be any different. What we have to do is, uh, is, is learn from, from past experiences. Uh, you know, some people gave a, a moral victory after the Elon game, and then Savannah State came into our house and beat us. You know, and I think that was a direct correlation with us not respecting our opponent. Well, Morgan State is on a two or three game winning streak right now. And then someone's trying to label the South Carolina State game as a moral victory. So now we have to know that how do we prepare the week of Savannah State? We have to look at ourselves as individuals, as coaches, as well as players, and then know that we're not going to allow that to happen again. You know, 
I don't mind losing a football game when you give maximum effort and you give maximum preparation. I don't think we gave maximum effort or maximum preparation for Savannah State. So as long as we give maximum you know, preparation and maximum effort, I think we'll be fine as a football team versus Morgan State. So, Coach, we certainly hope that's the case. Best of luck against Morgan State, and we'll talk to you as the season progresses. Thank you. As head coach Henry Fraser III, G. Allen Incorporated again, brings you this preview of North Carolina Central and Morgan State. Enjoy the ball game.